Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before I start, I just want to say that only about 7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you guys could please hit that like button and subscribe, that would be great. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about a very special One Piece game. Now, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of the Rao Brothers. These are the two famous developers responsible for the games Shinobi Life and then the newer version Shindo Life. Well, these developers have simultaneously been working on newer Roblox games, but recently they just sneak peeked a newer game called Rao Seas. Now, for a while, newer Roblox games have been introduced, especially One Piece games, but it feels like all of them at one point just go in the same direction, which is the category of Bandit Beater. Now, I'm not trying to pick on any games like GBO or like Blocks Roots. Actually, no, I wouldn't even consider Blocks Roots even being put in that category. Blocks Roots has a lot to do, but it just seems like these developers are looking to create a game that's a little bit different from the average Roblox One Piece game. First off, let's talk about the models. Personally, when I saw the sneak peeks, the first thing that caught my attention was the detail of the models because it generally looks perfect. As a GPO player, not to toot my own horn, but this kind of makes GPO look like block shoots in like comparison in like terms of graphics. Obviously, graphics shouldn't determine and don't determine how good a game is, but if we're being honest, it makes the game a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Now, what I really love is how right off the bat, these developers incorporated unique fruits like the giraffe zone. They even incorporated several things from the anime, including the Goro transformation. I have yet to see that in any other game. And honestly, this just looks perfect. Like the whole design, it's just the fact that they were able to do this in such a short time just shows that these two are extremely talented. And it really seems like these developers are trying to gather the attention of multiple Roblox One Piece players. I mean, they got my attention. Uh, enough about the graphics. Let's talk about the combat system. Now, first off, the fact that they took the time to add this shows that these developers are a step up from the rest. So they added M1 priority for players that are being hit into the wall. So if you're being hit into the wall consistently, no one can combo extend on you like that. But yeah, that's just something really cool that they added. They're really talented. And then moving on, I want to talk about the unique air combat system that allows for three different endings. It also allows players to consistently stay in the air and fight without falling. The game allows parrying and it has a unique sword system that decides the speed of weapons. This is something that's pretty cool to see and this one i cannot emphasize enough but also a gun system a lot of one piece games just lack the usefulness of guns which is why it's so commendable that these developers even added this to the game in the first place this game also has like loot spawns like you fight npcs for loot and an adventure survival based game kind of similar to deep woken i mean that's just what they said i'm not saying it's similar to deep woken because the game obviously isn't even out but like Deep Woken is like more like an adventure survival based game. Totally like different. Probably definitely different. But if you if you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, another thing that made me really excited was when he asked the community for the opinion on the updates. Now, I cannot emphasize this one enough either. Updates is an important thing because if you don't update your game for like two months or three months and just leave the community kind of like wondering your game is bound to die eventually cough cough overall the only thing that i think could be improved is the ui design as it's kind of basic compared to like the modeling and the graphics or the rest of the game maybe i'm just saying that because gpo has like that like 3d ui design but regardless this game is clearly a step up from the rest and it's only been introduced about like two months ago, which means that these developers have either they've been working on this for months or they're doing it like because you have to remember that these developers are working on two other games simultaneously. And then Rose sees at the same that takes an extreme amount of dedication. And these developers are really talented. And I, I just hope that they make a game that could potentially take over the world of Roblox One Piece. I'm not saying it's going to be bigger than Blocks Roots. But I think it does have potential to be one of the biggest Roblox One Piece games on Roblox, obviously. And if they update consistently, you know, add all this new stuff, they could make a good amount of money. Obviously, it's not mainly just about money, but I could see this game being very popular. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I just kind of want to make a video on this because I saw a lot of people talking about it and I want to share my thoughts. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to drop a like and a sub and I'll see you guys in the next video.